Hi, I'm Dr. Isaac Alexis from the Slim Samurai Media Group 84, helping you to slash your sickness and offering you a slice of health and wellness. Today's topic, my samurais and samurettes, is the drug epidemic, differences between crack and cocaine. This issue that's very close to my heart as my cousin passed away from a crack overdose back in the 1980s. Had she been alive, she'd have been around 63 years of age. She was only 25 at the time. So this is a matter that's very important and close, hits close to home for me personally. Let's begin. Before I start, don't forget to subscribe, click on the notification bell, send us 25 of your friends, comment so I know what to talk on for future topics as well. Some 1.9 million or 0.8% of the population, according to the 2016 National Survey on Drug Use and Health, are current cocaine users. I've had patients now as medical director of various treatment facilities. They would ask me, Dr. Alexis, we have something very, very important to ask you. So they would pull me over in the corner for about five, 10 minutes. They would let me know that they noticed that their kids had a suspicious white powder in their bedroom or they were fumbling through their child's back school backpack and noticed a suspicious white powder. And they wanted to know, they said, Dr. Alexis, we heard of crack, we heard of cocaine, Tell us more what to look for, signs, symptoms. And so that's a very critical matter when my patients brought that up to me because my cousin passed away from that, suffering a massive heart attack and stroke. And so this is something that's very important to me. The stimulants cocaine can cause a skyrocketing of your blood pressure to where it's 280 over 150. And that's enough to give you a stroke. So this is a very important matter. And also, I want to bring out this topic because a lot of overdoses, especially coming from fentanyl, carfentanyl, which are 110,000 times respectively more strong than morphine. Imagine a substance 10,000 times more stronger than morphine in an ounce of a stimulant drug like cocaine or crack that's a serious matter only a few table salt grains of carfentanil will kill a 100 kilogram man or woman and let alone a 90 pound teenager a 150 pound teenager it's all over even before it began Now, I'm going to mention the difference between crack cocaine to educate the parents out there and other healthcare providers and all people involved because this is a serious matter and I'm doing this strictly from an educational standpoint. Now, cocaine is a hydrochloride salt in its powdered form, while crack cocaine is derived from powdered cocaine by combining it typically with water and baking soda. After cocaine and baking soda are combined, the mixture is boiled and a solid forms. Once it's cooled and broken into smaller pieces, these pieces are sold as crack. The term crack is derived from the crackling sound that is produced commonly when the drug is heated and then smoked. Since crack is highly concentrated, it's extremely addictive. There have been case reports where people are hooked from just the first try. So stay away from this, young people and people of all ages. Smoking crack has immediate effects lasting anywhere from five to 10 minutes. Cocaine, which is snorted, takes around three to five minutes before its effects kick in 
and the high can last anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. Some of my patients with stimulant use disorders have injected cocaine and the effects kick in 15 minutes and can last anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes. Now, let's look at and describe the different terms as it relates to uh, crack and cocaine. For instance, a one-tenth gram of crack is called a rock, and a one-eighth ounce of cocaine is called an eight ball. Many of my patients have children that have been on crack or cocaine or both, and they want to know the terms so that they can address this more in detail with their children. They may hear a lot of these terms thrown around in the streets and the lingo, the vernacular is not familiar to them. So I always hold an educational forum with our parents to try to educate them as best as possible to what these terms are. My cousin who passed away in Brooklyn, New York City, had a habit that cost around anywhere from $300 to $500 a day and eventually killed her. So this issue is very, very important. I've had patients that have come this close to death as it relates to crack and or cocaine because some of the dealers have been vicious, have reported to seeing their friends shot dead in the head and they were only a foot away when this happened and this left them traumatized. Some had near-death experiences where they reported to me after taking cocaine that was cut with some very bad adulterants, they saw a lake of fire and they saw what they would describe as the devil standing 12 feet tall with his tongue coming out at them. And I believe this is real. The spirit world is real. I believe in a life after death. And I've had this from many, many patients from stimulant use disorders. We can argue that there are other metabolic factors causing NDEs, near-death experiences, but I believe in a spirit world. I believe in a life after death. And so I take this at face value, what my patients have described. They told me that they were so glad to be alive and out of that flame and fire. Some of them, that was enough. They said they never touched any white powder, any white powdery substance for as long as they live. And I'll definitely take their word for it. Now, let's look at some of the cutting agents. It can be anything from glucose, talc, ephedrine, to fentanyl, carfentanil. Fentanyl, carfentanil, deadly. Fentanyl being 100 times more powerful than morphine. Carfentanil being not 100, not 1,000, but 10,000 times more potent than morphine. Enough to stop your breathing, just like that. And I see a lot of that in patients taking stimulants, cocaine, crack. A lot of them have brushed close to death because of the fentanyl and the carfentanil. Now, my samurais and samurettes, some of you may be asking, what are the signs, symptoms of cocaine abuse? Great question. There's going to be increased euphoria. You feel like you could conquer the world. You feel like you could run a 26-mile marathon in under 30 minutes. You have dilated pupils. The black part of your eyes is not closed, but rather wide open. There's decreased appetite for food with concomitant weight loss. You'll also notice on physical exam on the skin, needle track marks in the arms, neck, groin, even the rectum. 
I've seen patients with rectal abscesses. We've had to get them into the ICU because they're febrile, fever of 103, blood pressure is dropping 60 over 20, heart is racing at 160 beats a minute, and it's not a pretty sight. We stabilize them, IV fluid resuscitation, and IV antibiotics, and 20 to 30 intensive care medical professionals gathered bedside to render critical life support. So this is something that's a very serious issue. I wanna say rest in peace to my cousin and all those who experienced losses to you, my samurais and my samurettes who lost family members, friends to cocaine, crack, and opioids and other drugs, my prayers and blessings go out to you as a family. I'm Dr. Isaac Alexis from Slim Samurai Media Group 84, helping you to slash through sickness and offering you a slice of health and wellness. God bless.